Hello, it's Sunday, May 9th. If you're like me, you just sent your mom packing after an enjoyable Mother's Day with the family. Happy Mother's Day to everyone out there, but now let's get down to some serious stuff, by which I mean loans. Many of us have loans, many of us know a little bit about loans, but if we look into the data as to what people do in the United States, it seems pretty clear that a lot of us don't really understand how loans work. So in the next few videos, we're going to tackle basic loans. We're gonna start by looking at the three variables. That's it, there are only three variables in a loan. There is the amount of money you pay, the time you're borrowing the money, and the interest rate you are being charged. Now, we should all have a loan calculator on our phone. They're free, they take up very little space, but they come in handy. And if you're ever going to buy a car or buy a house or anything like that, you can just pull this app up quickly, punch in the data, and find out if the person trying to sell you a product is really telling you the truth. Because oftentimes, they're being a bit dishonest. So let's look at the basics. Let's assume we're gonna buy a car. Well, what's the first thing? The amount. We're gonna put 20,000 in for this loan. Now, this is the amount you're borrowing. It may not be the full purchase price of your car. If you're buying a car that's $25,000, you might put $5,000 as a cash down payment, meaning you need to borrow the other 20,000. You can borrow it from the dealer, you can borrow it from the bank, you can borrow it from your, your mom. Hey, happy Mother's Day, mom. Can I borrow 20 grand? We'll get into that later on. I do not advise lending to family or friends, and I speak from experience here. Not referring to my mom, of course. We'll leave her out of this video again. So, now we've got the amount that we're going to borrow. Now the time. Most car loans are four to six years. We'll go into more detail about car loans later on, but for this argument, we're gonna say five. So we're borrowing $20,000, we're borrowing it for five years, and now we just have to put in the interest rate. What is the interest rate? Well, we'll do more videos on that, but let's just say it's the cost of money. You're borrowing someone's money for five years. Shouldn't they be able to charge you for it? After all, it is their money, it's their asset. So let's say, again, 4%. We'll use 4%. I was just at my credit union the other day and they said 2.5%. So we'll use 4%. Now you have $20,000 borrowed for five years at 4% and we'll pull that up. The monthly payment, $368.33. Now if you make that payment on time every month, that monthly payment and that interest rate will not change. Which means over the total life of the loan, you will have paid $22,099 and change. That represents the 20,000 you borrowed plus the interest charge, which is just under $2,100. Now in future videos, we'll play around with these different variables and see how they change your monthly payment and the total interest you pay. But this is just the basics on how to use a loan calculator. The amount of money you're borrowing, the time you're borrowing the money, and the interest rate you're being charged. Here's what comes up when I punch in loan calculator on my phone. Please have a look at that, and please download a loan calculator. It takes up only a little bit of space, and it might come in very handy, and it might just save your skin one day. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube. I guess you have to put those in when you have a YouTube channel. You always have to say, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube. So please don't forget. Thank you very much. And if you have any comments, please leave them. I love reading them. Thank you very much.